We're just about 25 minutes east of downtown Durango in this really cool town called Bayfield. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the pros and cons. Well, you gotta weigh the pros and the cons. It's the good, the bad, the ugly. Of living in Bayfield. We are going to break them down, show you a lot of opinions, unfiltered, true opinions of people that live here and have lived here for a really long time. Are you going to live here forever? We're gonna go through the weather, compare the weather from here to Durango so that you get a real feel, walk through what it's like in the summer, in the winter, and we're getting after it right now. What's up guys, this is John Burton with Woosaw Properties here in Durango and Bayfield, Colorado. If you guys are even thinking about moving here, make sure you give me a call, text, email, days, nights, weekends. We've got your back when it comes to moving to Durango and the Bayfield area. Now I'm gonna start by just kind of telling you the pros and then jump into the cons. The first pro is really the scenic beauty. I really tried to set up my camera in a spot where you can get a little bit of a feel of that. And of course, I'm gonna show you a lot more uh, video footage of this area and just show you the beauty of this area. Um, I'm going to just start with some of the things that I really have noticed, some things that I really enjoy about Bayfield regarding just the scenery, the beauty, um, and just the outdoors. So I personally love the outdoors. I fish, I mountain bike, I run, trail run, uh, road bike. Um, we've got some little kids and so we love doing stuff outdoors with them. Uh, in Bayfield, right as you get into town and where you see the sign, that says Bayfield, welcome to Bayfield. There is a little nature preserve right there uh, with some trails. They go mile to two miles, kind of into this, um, yeah, just nice forested cottonwood area. And so there's some nice trails right there. But what I found was really cool was there is uh, the Los Pinos River that runs right through there. And in the right season, um, right now I'm filming this in May, and in the right season when runoff is good, uh, you can bring your kids down there and it's not a big rushing river. It's, um, you know, six, 12, 18 inches of water and they can play around in the water if they're young and there's kids that are tubing down it and it's just, you know, a little, I don't know, 100 yard run and then it's a spot where you can kind of get out and bring your tubes back up and do it again. And there's some nice picnic benches there. Um, then if you walk down the trail a little bit, there is a, a little pond right there. And again, a little picnic bench there. It's fairly um, shaded. Uh, there is a nice paved trail that comes through uh, the town of Bayfield. I don't know exactly how long it is, but really nice paved trail, um, similar to the Animus River Trail that is in, in uh, Durango. And of course it doesn't have, it doesn't quite have the same um, structure that that trail does, but it's a nice long trail as well. Then right behind me, I'm kind of up near the top of Bayfield, if you will, regarding like the elevation. This area kind of looks over town, as you can see. Right below me, there's some great trails. Off to the side of me, there's some great trails. Um, and we're right off of a subdivision here. So to give you an idea, there's a lot of great trails here. Um, then they are, there's another um, subdivision called Forest Lakes. They've got Lake Simpatico. They've got some great trails around there as well, trail around the lake. And then you've got Viacito and Lemon Reservoir. Viacito Lake is um, part of Bayfield, is in Bayfield. Uh, that is a lot higher elevation. And um, so if you're thinking about living right around that lake, they do get quite a bit more snow than in town Bayfield, but they've got a ton of amazing trails, great fishing. I just saw some posts on Facebook from somebody that caught like 30 fish in a few hours. Um, it's stocked with trout. Then they've got an amazing trail that goes up from Viacito. And there's some awesome fishing in the Pine River that goes up from Viacito as well. Um, and that leads to hundreds of miles of trails, a bunch of 14ers. Um, so you've got tons and tons of different trail options here, uh, some great water here. And it is definitely more rural here. Um, so you're gonna see a lot more green pastures um, that kind of feel less mountainous. But as you can see over my shoulder, there's still some great mountain views here as well. Um, and then keep in mind, I'm probably gonna mention this throughout the video, but you're only about 25 minutes from downtown Durango and all of those trails, um, trail systems in Durango as well. Then I wanted to hit on the, uh, then I wanted to hit on the skiing as well, the fishing, uh, and the camping. There's some great camping at Viacito. 
Um, there's some great camping even as you keep going east towards Pagosa. Uh, there's just a lot of different options here. The skiing, there's a lot of great backcountry skiing as you get up towards Vallecito. Uh, and then I put out a message to a lot of people that live here on, uh, on Facebook and some of their comments were enjoying the most beautiful place on earth, rural living, all four seasons. Another person said, incredibly beautiful, lots of amazing wildlife, small town friendliness, lots of outdoor adventures. Another person said, closest thing to heaven, best of the best, don't know any cons, when I was asking for any cons. Another person said, pro, it's one of the most beautiful places on earth. You could actually live in a place that lots of people spend thousands of dollars just to visit, stays cool in the summer. That's a huge one. I'll get to that later. Um, I've got actually a breakdown of the temperatures that it hits in the summer and winter, so you can kind of compare. And then they also said you're close to hiking, biking, boating, and fishing. And they're definitely correct about that as well, like I mentioned. Our second pro I'm going to jump into is the small town charm. And so this is a pretty small town, tight-knit community, really friendly atmosphere. Um, to give an example, I was just down at the farmer's market on Sunday. People were super cool. They were telling me, hey, just give me a call if you want to buy eggs when I'm not here. Um, somebody that I bought beef from, super cool. Um, was willing to tell me all about the different beef, even told me about a different rancher that offers kind of a different product, which you don't see that often when he's trying to sell his own beef. So like just a really friendly um, environment down here. The, so a few of the comments that I got from people when I asked them just kind of about the um, small town environment. Somebody said, there is a lack of stores. Um, even in Durango, lack of department stores is missed, but the beauty and serenity, atmosphere, friendliness of the people make those things minuscule in comparison. Um, so regarding the weather, I'll jump into that a little bit more. It's amazing in the summer, it definitely gets pretty cold. Uh, colder than Durango, depending on the elevation and where your property is at um, in comparison. The next one is the cost of living. Um, and that's a pro here. It's really affordable compared to places like Durango. And so I'll get into actual numbers for you. Um, generally, they have a more affordable cost of living. Housing prices, utilities, other expenses are often lower. Um, also, uh, so just get into those numbers. Durango's average home price, or median home price rather, was $750, and in town Bayfield was $397,500. And then Bayfield in the county, once you get out of town, was $499. So obviously you're getting bigger acreage properties and that kind of thing. All right, number four is the schools. Um, Bayfield has a reputable school system. Uh, talking to a lot of people that live here and have lived here for a long time, they really enjoy the school system. Obviously, there's always pros and cons. You want to kind of talk to people specifically. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to reach out specifically about that. Happy to connect you with people that are here or plug you into like a good Facebook group that I've gotten good feedback from. And so number five is the proximity to outdoor recreation opportunities. Now, I did touch on this earlier, um, but just to kind of elaborate on it, uh, one comment from somebody was that lives here local said all the adventure sports you can dream of Foraging fishing hunting is great out here um, You're close to several hot springs. That's something I didn't mention earlier And so you are fairly close to the Pagosa hot springs maybe 25 minutes 20 20 30 minutes away from Pagosa hot springs, which are incredible um, definitely worth checking those out and then you are about 35 minutes or so from Durango Hot Springs, which they just did a huge renovation on. They've even got a sauna, they got a cold plunge. Um, their hottest one, I don't remember specifically, but they've got some pretty, pretty hot ones as well. Um, they have music, they have a food truck, they've got a lot of stuff going on there as well. Wanted to mention you're really within a close reach to national parks. Um, you're only six hours from like Flagstaff area, you're only six, three hours from Albuquerque. So just talking about proximity to other um, outdoor stuff and just proximity to stuff in general from Bayfield, you are about, yeah, three and a half hours from Albuquerque. You're about three and a half hours from like Grand Junction, about five and a half to six hours from Denver. And then questions that people ask me a lot are, can I fly in here? Nice plane. And yes, you can fly into La Plata County Airport, which from here is from 
downtown Bayfield is maybe uh, 20 minutes or so. So not a bad drive at all. Um, generally, you're getting a connection flight from Denver and then flying into here. Or uh, I got a buddy that's driving into town today from Montrose. You can also fly into Montrose and then it's about a two hour drive here. Um, but they generally have, they might have better flight options. So you just want to compare. Uh, to elaborate on that, the flight from, uh, or the drive from Montrose, you're going through Uray, which is really, really beautiful. There's a lot of waterfalls going off right on the side of the road right now because of the runoff. Now, again, we're in May right now. All right, so now I'm going to jump into the cons of living in Bayfield. It has its pros and cons. And kind of the surrounding area of Bayfield. So one of the comments, I'm just going to start with some comments from some people that live here. I feel like that's more valuable um, when you're getting different perspectives. So one person said, Viacito is one large cow permit. Don't complain about it. Been that way for 100 years. Drive slow even if you're in a hurry. Your emergency isn't worth someone's life. Kids live here too. Give respect. Receive it. Both are great communities. This place is awesome. There is nothing wrong, was a, another comment. And so what they mean by large cow permit, you'll just see cows grazing, walking across the street. Um, you won't see that off like busy streets usually, but just being aware um, that cows are grazing all over the place. A lot of the times there's open fences and that's something to kind of be aware of. And then the first con, is gonna be just the limited amenities. So compared to even Durango, which they kind of have limited amenities as well, but compared to Durango, um, Bayfield is a much smaller town. Their population is right around 5,000, um, which means limited amenities compared to larger cities. Um, you'll find some of the essentials. So they do have a grocery store. It's just not nearly the same as like Walmart or even city market that's in Durango. Uh, they don't have a lot of the same items and they have a few restaurants um, not as many options for shopping entertainment a lot of restaurants will close down earlier um, you do have kind of you're kind of in between pagosa springs which has a little bit more of a downtown and um, and durango so again you're only about 25 minutes from durango depending where you buy a home here um, again as you go further uh, east, you're getting away from Bayfield further closer to Pagosa. As you go west, you're getting closer to Durango. Um, so if you're really wanting close, to be closer to those amenities to Durango, just kind of look out closer that way. You're going to have a little bit more acreage properties out there. Um, you're going to have, yeah, a little bit more acreage. There's not going to be a lot of like subdivisions with smaller homes or smaller lot sizes in between Bayfield and Durango until you get to like Three Springs and areas like that. Um, one thing, uh, to read a few more comments that a few people said was, uh, I know a lot of people in Bayfield that have to drive to Durango every day anyway. There's very limited stores and restaurants in Bayfield, like I was referring to. Uh, someday Bayfield may be more of a town. Right now it seems like a support town for Durango. It's true that Bayfield doesn't get as many tourists so if you want to avoid um, that, Bayfield may be for you. So to kind of touch on the tourist thing, uh, that comment, Durango does get close to a million, I believe a million tourists every single summer. So we do get a lot of tourism. Personally, I don't see it affect us too much like day to day. Um, obviously it's great for the economy. Another comment was Walmart won't deliver. The next one was Wi-Fi can be a hassle if you don't have Starlink. Most stores are closed on Monday or Tuesday and closed by 7 to 8 p.m. Um, the next one was job opportunities. So the job market in Bayfield is more limited compared to larger cities, as you can imagine. You have no jobs, no money. Um, town relies heavily on agriculture and tourism. So finding employment in those industries, specific professions might be challenging and a lot of residents do commute to work. Um, a lot of people are committing to commuting to Durango. Okay, we gotta drive. Um, but it just depends, right? If you're able to work remote, then I think this is an awesome place for you. All right, so the next thing that I wanna get to, con number three are the harsh winters. Winter is coming. So Bayfield does experience much harsher winters than um, like in-town Durango. I'm just gonna compare it to in-town because 
Obviously different parts of Durango are higher elevation, which will get similar winter to here. Um, let's see, snowstorms, freezing temperatures can sometimes disrupt daily routines and travel plans. So really keep that in mind if you're looking at houses, in particularly houses that might have a longer driveway, a steeper driveway. I always want to advise that you really pay attention to the driveway. Give me a call, have me walk the property for you, especially if you're out of area. I can do a video uh, tour of it, tell you the exact elevation of it, so you get a real good feel of what that snow level will be um, and what the temperatures will be. So to jump into those temperatures, um, I'm gonna compare a little bit, especially if you've been watching some of my videos in Durango or maybe comparing the two. So Durango averaged 71 inches of snow, Bayfield average is 113 inches. This last year, we both towns got quite a bit more. I wanna say like 50% more, close to that. Um, January temperatures in Durango, 39 high and low is 11, versus Bayfield, 36 high and five is the low. So about five, three to five, three to six degrees difference. All right, and then Durango, July high is 87, low is 51. Average in Bayfield, low or high is 85, low is 41. So just a couple degrees difference. Definitely you'll, you'll still feel a little bit of difference here. Um, and again, as you get higher in elevation um, in Bayfield or in Durango, it is going to increase in temperature and snow. So really want to emphasize that. So places like Forest Lakes or as you get up to Viacito is a great example. As you keep climbing and getting up in that area, um, like Viacito's average, high was 21, sorry, not average, but high was 21 and low was 14. Again, that's in January, the January high and low compared to in Bayfield was 36. So 36 versus 24. Um, Viacito is quite a bit higher elevation. I want to say about two, two to 3,000 feet difference. And then in the winter, or sorry, the summer in July, Viacito's average is 64, low is 29. All right, so now I want to get into the fourth con. Um, and this could be looked at as a pro for sure. It is the distance from major cities. So Bayfield is located about 20 miles east of Durango, getting about a 25 minute drive. Almost forgot to mention golf courses. So you've got Glacier, Dalton, and Hillcrest. Hillcrest is gonna be in town Durango, right next to Fort Lewis College. And that's gonna be the closest one, about 35 minutes away. And then you've got Pagosa, a golf course in Pagosa, that's about 45 minutes away. So you're kind of right in between Pagosa and Hillcrest. And then there's two more as you go up north into the Animus Valley past Durango. Um, and those are going to be incredible as well. Highly recommend checking those out. Um, it's going to be Glacier and Dalton. The first one is going to be Dalton. They've got a great restaurant, a great club there as well. Um, and so just wanted to mention that as somewhat of a con. You are about 35 minutes away from golfing, but still not a bad drive either. All right, number five is going to be limited healthcare options. So when my parents were looking at moving, they were really comparing Bayfield and Durango because the difference is obviously in home prices, close to what, 200, over $250,000 difference in basically the same home, if you will, in Durango versus here. Obviously, it's really dependent on neighborhoods and amenities and all those kind of things in the home. But they were really comparing those two and a big reason they liked Durango, among many other reasons, was they had better healthcare options over there. Uh, so Bayfield, uh, like complex or specialized medical needs, you're really traveling to Mercy Medical Hospital in Durango. Um, they're near the Three Springs subdivision and they're on your way into Durango from Bayfield. So what's nice is they're not like north of Durango where it's a real long trip. From in town Bayfield, the hospital is gonna be about 20, really less than 20 minutes, 17, 16 minutes from Bayfield. So you're not far. Um, I'm friends with the eye doctor here in town. He's an awesome guy. Uh, so they've got a great eye clinic here as well. Um, it is important to note, like all, all of these are kind of like observations and doesn't necessarily apply to all everyone, right? That's what apply to me, apply to you as well. And then going back to job opportunities, you might already have a job set up, so that doesn't matter. And then going back to limited amenities, you might just not care about that because it comes down to, again, pros and cons, weighing if this area is better because of the home price and you don't really care about driving. Well, there's some pros and some cons, guys. So I wanna mention that a lot of these cons really might be pros for you or might be a moot point, um, such as the harsher winters. Like nobody really loves those 
um, harsher temperatures, but you might love it here because you're really a lot closer to Viacito Lake. Um, from in town Durango, you're about a 30, 25 to 30 minute drive to Viacito. Lemon Reservoir, similar distance. And I just went um, snowmobiling with, a buddy, with my brother actually up there and it was incredible. Like the trails were awesome. They've got some great snowmobiling trails. They've got ice fishing. Um, there's some great snowshoeing. Um, awesome Nordic ski uh, trails that are set up and groomed around Viacito Lake. And that's something I didn't mention earlier in my pros. And so there's so many pros that come with living in Bayfield, not to mention the cost savings on homes that you're gonna get out here and you're still only about a 25 minute drive from downtown Durango if you want that bigger nightlife and a lot more amenities, um, the shopping down there, the biking trails over there as well. But it's like you're not sacrificing a lot of people look at it as like, well, maybe I'll move to Bayfield instead. It's like there's so many cool amenities here. It's really worth looking and exploring the amenities that are here if you're looking at moving here more because of the outdoor scene. So I really want to hit on that element that like the amenities from Viacito to the river running right through town um, to the bigger acreage properties out here that you might be able to get. Um, really worth exploring and if you guys have any questions or even thinking about moving out here make sure to give me a call text email a days nights weekends we've got your back when it comes to moving here to Durango by the way we are licensed real estate agents have all your needs covered when it comes to buying a property out here and guys please make sure to like subscribe click that notification bell so you're notified every time we release a new video really appreciate you watching thanks guys